Hey, welcome to Diabetic. I'm Justin, and on here I talk all things diabetes tech, news, and management. And today, I am going to not only unbox the Dexcom G7, but I'm gonna be putting it on, showing you my go-to ways to put it on, but also put it on in a way that it stays on for the full 10 days. Plus there's that 12 hour grace period you get. So it's really 10 and a half days. So we're gonna put this on. If you wanna learn more about Dexcom G7, I've got a lot of videos on this channel. I've reviewed it a few times. In those, I get into accuracy and my experience wearing it over the last few years. I also have an app walkthrough video where I go over the controls and quiet modes for alerts. And in a few weeks, I have a video that shows off how to get Dexcom readings on the car dashboard using CarPlay or by asking Siri for your readings. Hey Siri, what is my blood sugar? Okay, viewing. You're 160 and steady. I also have a video on how to overlap sensors so that you don't lose any readings. I have a Dexcom G7 on right now and it's still running. I'm gonna put this one on and I'll be getting readings from that. And then when the warm up period of 30 minutes ends with this one, I'll switch them and I go no time without readings. It's incredible. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a like. And if you wanna see more videos like this, I also have a podcast where I talk to industry leaders and people with diabetes, all about diabetes tech and management every Monday on YouTube and on podcast platforms. So if you wanna see these videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel and you can click that bell for alerts. That podcast you can also follow on all podcast platforms. Also, I've got a Patreon if you want even more content. You should check that out for the price of two cups of coffee. You can help support the channel, but you also get a lot more content, whether it's Q&As, exclusive interviews, and I also just posted a video all about me wearing Dexcom over the last two years, compiling all of my TikToks and stuff. It's very cool, so uh, there is a link to that in the description. Also, keep in mind that anything I talk about today or any of my content in general is not medical advice. Always consult with your physician before making any changes to your healthcare. This is simply my own experience. All right, let's get into applying the Dexcom G7. Let's start with what's in the box and open this thing up. The first thing is the instructions, and it's not just instructions, it comes with an included overlay patch. Now Dexcom says that you must wear the overlay patch in order for you to be able to keep the sensor on for the 10 days plus that 12 hour grace period. Uh, I find times of the year when I don't need it, uh, but that's just my skin. There are so many different types of skins, and some people find that the Dexcom starts coming off sooner and they do need to wear this. So. It depends on you, uh, but Dexcom does say it is required. And they also say you don't wanna get it wet for up to 12 hours after you apply it. That includes showers. And then of course, you have the applicator. It's much smaller than the, the Dexcom G6, which is very nice. There's a code on the back that you'll need in order to connect it to the app or the receiver, uh, but overall, very nice and compact. I like to put them in my shoes in my suitcase. Now let's put it on. First, you wanna make sure that you wash your hands. You want them to be super clean when you're doing this. Next, you'll want an alcohol swab and you'll want to swab the area of your arm where you're gonna put it. I'm gonna put mine like right over here. Now, if you don't do this step, it could very easily come off your arm because of all the dirt that could be on there. Uh, so this is like probably one of the most important steps is making sure that your arm is super clean. I even like to shower before and then put on a new sensor with that alcohol swab uh, when possible. While that's drying, let's unscrew the cap. And you can see right in the applicator, like unlike the Dexcom G6, you can see the needle. It's a little scary. So for people who are needle phobic, um, good luck. <laughs> um, no, uh, it's, it's not bad at all. I have to say the Dexcom G7 has remotely no pain, uh, especially compared to the G6. I found like I was getting a lot of pain, not a lot of pain, but every few insertions, there was a painful experience, not terrible, but something. The G7, I'd say after wearing it for two years, there's been, less than a handful of times when I've been like, oh, that kind of hurt, like two or three times. Now that my arm's dry, I am ready to put it on. So I'm going to take it like this, put my thumb near the button, because that's what you're gonna use to release it. And then I'm going to apply it to my arm. You see this 
plastic safety guard, that needs to be completely hidden when you press on in order for this button to allow for the release. So let's go for it. I'm pressing it against my arm to get rid of that clear safety. And let's push it in with this button in three, two, one. I, I felt nothing. Is it, is it there? Is it there, Kevin? Yeah. Okay, it's there. <laughs> Now I'm gonna press along the sides two or three times on the adhesive to make sure that that stays on there well. You definitely wanna make sure you do that. Then after you do that, you wanna push down on the main sensor for about five to 10 seconds. Make sure that the adhesive sticks to that area. Okay, cool. There's a needle in that? Like no, there's, the needle was in here. Oh. <laughs> now the needle, Kevin, now the needle is hidden in here. And what you want to do now that this is done is you want to screw this back on just for safety. And then, I mean, there's the Dexcom G7. Look at that. Now that the new sensor is on, I'm going to wait 30 minutes for that to warm up while I'm still getting readings for my old one. Now's the point for when you would put on an overlay patch. Like I said, Dexcom requires one and they come with it. Um, I don't really use it all the time. In fact, I never use it, but there are times of the year, like the summer when it gets more humid. Um, and if I'm going to work out more often where the overlay patch really comes in handy. So I definitely would recommend people using it, especially if you have issues with adhesive staying on. And there you have it. I've got the Dexcom G7 on my arm. The next step is to take the applicator, use that code and with the smartphone app or the receiver, you can plug that in and you will have readings. And like I said, if this isn't your first one, be sure to just overlap sensors so you don't go any time without readings. Now, if you wanna see even more about Dexcom and what the app looks like, I did an entire Dexcom G7 app walkthrough. You can see there's a dot, 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 in the graph. So when you tap into that, this is where you can turn um, on and off high alerts and low alerts. That video and some other Dexcom videos that you should check out, I've thrown in the description below, as well as some on screen right now. And when that CarPlay video comes out, I'll also throw that in the description. Also, I've got a Patreon. On there, you'll get exclusive access to videos, Q and A's and interviews. I've got some new stuff coming from ATTD in Florence, so stay tuned for that. I appreciate your support over there. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you want more videos like this. Click that bell if you wanna get alerts when the videos come out and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I'm Justin and I'll take you later.